Hi, this is the second half of a haul video. This part is a haul from Stampin' Up! and Michaels. The first is items I ordered from Stampin' Up! from Gail, known here in YouTube land as Gail Crafts, and her website is www.thehappystamper.com. Some of these um, drawstring muslin bags that I thought were cute, there are eight. So they're just little treat bags that you can stamp on that would be cute. These are frame the Chalk Talk framelits. You can't really see. There they are. Oh. So you've seen these a lot on um, in different people's videos making tags. I like this tag especially because you can um, just wrap it around, you know, a treat bag, a clear treat bag that we all use, um, and that way you don't have to attach attach the tag with ribbon. You can just put it around the the treat bag that you've like maybe tie it off with a twist tie or something. But those are cute. And then my script stamp seems to have walked away in my teaching classes at Michaels, so I got another one, and this one is ginormous. So it'll cover a whole card front. So I'm glad to finally get that back because I've been missing that. And here's another number stamp set. This one's called Morning Post Numbers. That's cute. This one is Lovely Romance. thought these were really pretty. I love that. You could make all kinds of patterns with that or turn that into a border stamp. And I think I have the the framelit stamp that fits that. And that was pretty too. Um, here's another numbers one. I guess I kind of went number stamp crazy. And um, it's called Memorable Moments. And I like these because I uh, I like the numbers that you can color in because I can use my Copics and um, match the pattern papers I'm working with. And here's tags for you that covers a couple of the major holidays and then there's a new punch that came with this I think I got it at a, as a bundle because you can save I think 15% if you order it as a bundle and here's the Chalk Talk stamp set and again I think I got this as a maybe as a bundle um, with those framelit dies those are pretty I like this. This is a new um, border punch that came out. It is huge. Those um, chevron looking thingies are they're three quarters of an inch tall. So that's pretty big. So I like that. I love my punches. If they come out with new punches, I usually buy them. Uh, and this came as a bundle too. It's uh, the Christmas Collectibles um, ornament stamp set. And there's also a new punch that matches these. So I got that as a bundle. And let's see. Oh, I think these were on sale. These were um, Flourish designer frames. They're just nice metal frames that have a little um, embossing on them to make them pretty. And then you just use a mini brad in there. Or you could use glue dots to it here and then just put a um, blingy piece over that hole if you want to hide it. Um, what is this? Label card thinlet dies. Oh, I wanted to try one of these thinlet dies. They look fun. So I got the one that has the label shape. And I like these arrows, too. I could see using those a lot. Um, so anyway, I'm going to give this give this a go. And this is kind of a medallion stamp. It's called A Gift For You. This stamp. It's one of, uh, just a single stamp. Um, and, well, I guess you can't really see it. But that's kind of what it's going to look like. That's what it looks like backwards. There. 
that's what it's going to look like. So that was pretty, and that goes with the new um, punch that came out. So that's good. And then these, what are these? They are just... Oh, I think they're... Um, they're kind of metal and crystal. These are metal and cr with some crystals in them, embellishments, that I thought were really pretty. And the crystals, I thought they were going to be clear, but it seems like they have a little bit of color to them. But those are just so pretty. So I will use those as flower centers for sure. So those are so pretty. I think I got two of them. Yep. And then these, I had seen these um, stamp wheels. I do not have the wheel. My intention, I've seen some YouTube videos of people that removed these from the wheels and made them into border stamps. This one has little tiny crayons on it. Little tiny crayons. So, um thought that would be cute and this one is kind of another school based one it has the alphabet on like the paper that um, you can write on you know when you're a kid you have that lined paper so I thought that would make a really cute border stamp and I think they were on sale as well so they seem to be pretty easy to remove from here so I'll just um, use those as a border stamp so anyway that was my Stampin' Up! haul um, I also hit a few stores um, went to Michael's and um, got some canvas stickers Let's see is that focusing um, got those canvas stickers. Um, these are on clearance. These are glitter adhesive shapes. They are round and they are huge. They're like two and a half inches, two and a half inches circles. Um, I needed red food coloring. That's not very exciting, but I was uh, trying to make a red velvet cake and didn't have red red food color so it ended up being a burgundy velvet cake instead um these are on clearance these are just little blingy dots with pearls and then some of them have uh rhinestones on them um and these are some like muslin um they're called trimmings they're from the heidi swap color color line um and so those will be fun to color with my sprays. And then also from that same line, these are some uh, stars that have uh, printing on them as well as a resist pattern of dots. So when you color those, everything but the dots take the color. Uh, let's see. Glue sticks, not very interesting. Uh, some little bitty um, clear bags. Another package of stars. Um, these are velvet. They're like necklace, velvet necklace deals. I'm going to make um, a resin piece, you know, adhere something in a metal piece and put resin on top of it and then make a necklace out of it. Um, and let's see, found some cute buttons on clearance. And then... Um, Here's another necklace piece that I may use with that um, resin piece and some uh, these are crimp beads that have uh, an, a hole on the end of it. I like to make bookmarks using ribbon and then put beads and stuff on them so these crimp the edge of the ribbon. Um, and then I found this die that was on clearance. It was only $4.50. It's for a place card that has this uh, design on the top of it that I thought was really cute. So I'll do something cute with that. And then for my mom, she has trouble, she's 85 and has trouble putting on her necklaces. So I'm going to try these uh, ginormous lobster uh, clasps and see if um, they'll help her help her with her jewelry that she can't she can't uh, adjust those 
um, clasps on our necklaces anymore. So I'll see if this will help her with that. And a magnetic clasp. Again, um, I'll replace a clasp in her necklace with this. That's an extra large magnet that will be easier for her to use. Um, okay, well that's about it. Hope you guys are going to have a fun week and get a little bit of crafting done. Um, I'm going to put this stuff away and then get to work on some cards I've been needing to do. And I'll come back and share the card. It probably won't be a tutorial because I need to whip these cards out and get them in the mail today. So um, I will have post that video later. Thank you.